in this video you will see how to insert column in WPS office you can insert two or more columns in WPS office like this it's very easy first to insert columns you need to select the text for example I want to add columns to this text so I will select this text after highlighting the text click on the page layout tab here and under the page layout tab immediately you will see here columns we can use this option to split text into two or more columns click on the drop down and you will see here options of one two and three so right now it is already one so let's say we want to make it two so when we select the two the text will be divided into two columns Similarly, we can select the option 3 to make 3 columns and if you go to more columns option here, you will see different options, the same 1, 2, 3 as well as left, right and you can also specify the number of columns directly if you want large number of columns and you can also set width and spacing if required. You can see the preview here and if you want to add line between the columns you can select this option line between and you can see here the line is added in the preview and this is most important if you want to apply this setting to selected section or whole document the whole document means this setting will be applied to all the pages in the document but if you just select selected section only the settings will be applied to the selected section so just select the selected section and then click on ok and as you can see we have three columns with the lines in between them in case you want to remove these columns you can just select all the columns with the text go to the columns and just select the option 1 to remove inserted columns in WPS office Click on that like button, comment below and let me know if this video solved your problem. And don't forget to check out these useful videos related to WPS office if you want to learn quickly. See you again in the next one.